Hello, welcome to the Pennines. This is a, a pass high up on the Pennines between Lancashire and uh, Yorkshire. It's the only flat field there is on the top of this hill. Uh, <laughs> I found an 1806 George III, I think, and a few other bits and bobs. Uh, nothing spectacular. Uh, try and give you an idea of how high up we are. If you look over the wall, <laughs> that's the views down in the bottom. And we kick those down. Sorry about the wind noise, but if you're going to go up on top of a mountain, it's going to be windy. <laughs> That's Pendle over there. Not much to report. It's going to be a very short hunt, is this, but I've got a load of permissions uh, and contacts now over in Lancashire, which I'll be pursuing. When I came up here, uh, it was fine like this. <laughs> I come in the field and within two minutes it poured down, chased me out and then the sun come out. But I'm uh, not going to get any spectacular finds today I don't think. Just letting you know what's going on. <laughs> Following this footpath here right along the top of these cliffs. Found a penny. Well, it's a penny. It's five. It's a five new pence. <laughs> oh, dear me! Last thing I ever expected to find was a coin up here. Oh, I've just been chased off the field. Huge rain downpour. <laughs> God, it's desolate up here. One minute the sun's shining, and literally within thirty seconds, it is pouring down. Uh, but I was determined to stick it out because I'd just got a decent signal look. <laughs> I think it's a George III. Uh, so we'll have a look. Couple of coins, so this place is showing a bit of promise. All we need now is some uh, clement weather. Oh, <laughs> everywhere's steaming up. <laughs> Could well be Wuthery Nights that. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Roundup. Well, as you can see, I was out today. I'm trying to find a trading field right slap bang on the top of the Pennines on the main herders road that went across. And I got permission to do the only flat field there was. <laughs> I was in it for uh, oh, a couple of minutes and I got that and I got that and I got drowned. <laughs> so I just crawled back to the car <laughs> and then five minutes later the sun came out so I looked up at the sky and I thought mm, not a cloud in sight so I went back and uh, actually I picked up three coins and odds and ends and a this is this hang there's a picture rail which is a, a rail which runs round uh, the rooms in old houses and it's about a foot from the ceiling and you hang this clip on and you hang your pictures off it it's a picture hook for a picture rail <laughs> in the middle of a field on the top of the Pennines never mind <laughs> so I was only there a few minutes <laughs> out of the blue I got rained on again <laughs> But I've, I've learned a few valuable lessons and I also got a stack of permissions down in the valley. This laddie owned the land all down the valley as well, so yay! Hey. Junkalhead, look, I don't think it is anything, it's just had a slice there on it. Heavy. I'm not sure what this is, it's very heavy. I think there's lead in there somehow. I think it's a very large connection off, off an electric pylon. But I don't know. <laughs> Tell you how, you know, I was looking very closely. I th I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if it's just a, a bit of lead, but I don't think so. 
his little snapper of something. And let's give a curious signal. A270. And it snapped. It's one of these torque bolts, you, you do it so tight and that's it, but <laughs> you go more than that, it just goes snaps off. That we've seen, little 5P, I was running on the very old footpath that went along the edge of the cliff. And it's a modern, a modern 5 pence. And the date is 2002, 2002. 10 years old look. Now these are a bit older. I think this is a George 3 half penny. I think it is. Um, what it's telling me is the ground there is terrible. It's terribly acid right up on the peat moors. So any copper is going to be thoroughly eaten away. Let's hope there's, I find a bit of silver in future. And then there's this one, which uh, if you compare the sizes, look, that's a half penny, George, and this is a copper coin, but, but what? Um, can you see anything on there? That's curious, that. Hmm, what are you? Come on, CB. CB will know. Is that a head? I don't know. But look, uh, I haven't cleaned that at all. I'll just remove everything if I do. There's some writing around there, look. Hmm, but what? Can anyone make that out? So I'll prove one thing, they, they were, oh that's a harp look, that's, that's the lady, there's a head, there's her breasts, <laughs> there's, and that's a harp, so this is Irish, it's, uh, oh that's a crown there, right in the middle look, there is a crown, so it's an Irish what, um, she Possibly one of these uh, 17, 20 ish efforts. George, possibly George um, 2. Maybe, maybe. Where are you? Where are you? Get your right way around. There. Whoops. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm going to go for a George 2. So, look, they were up there and they were stopping in this field on the way across the Pennines with the cows and the sheep. Uh, it just, I need a decent day now. I got absolutely soaked. <laughs> Out of nowhere, all of a sudden, <laughs> I got the <this> thumb. <laughs> anyway, some would say this is a poor day, but no, it isn't. Um, it, it's giving me the information I need for, for research, for finding the goodies and finding these trading fields. And I got a stack of permissions today right down in the uh, in some prime country which I'll be having a go at sometime so there you go it is out there it's not all uh, let's just walk out and get the hammered Jeff <laughs> wish I lived in your your street <laughs> but it's out there different strokes different folks different things so until I see you next time Ah, let's hope I can get you a bucket of silver. <laughs> See you later. Bye.